Guys, since I'm here to reveal the Broly deck from, uh, yeah, the, the, we had a, another brawl, a Dragon Ball brawl, which I won't spoil who's the winner. We had a face-off with Broly versus uh, Set 9 Cooler. Yeah, and I'm gonna reveal the deck I've played, and it's, uh, surprise, surprise, the best of all Broly's, the Gold Broly, which is Set 1 Broly. Uh, the permanent effect of this Broly, though, is I can only attack leader cards, and uh, every time I attack, both players have to discard one card. The awaken ability of uh, this Broly is when I'm, yeah, standard, from 4 life or less, I draw 2 cards, flip the card, and BAM! I become buff as fuck. So, uh, Broly the Legendary Super Saiyan. Oh, wait, Pre pretty don't much, swear. Don't swear. Pretty much almost everything is the same. Uh, but the bonus thing is uh, when I attack, I draw one card. Both players choose one card to discard. And uh, both players choose one card to KO on their each side of the field. I mean, I like this player because uh, he's unique. Uh, since I've uh, started like looking at Dragon Ball Super Card game, I've uh, thought this is one of my favorite leaders. Always wanted to make a deck. Pretty proud that this uh, leader has a decent deck. And yeah, let's begin with the cards. And uh, since I am sure that I have no luck, I just run four Broly's ring. Because uh, you know what? Three is not enough, and uh, I'm running four. So what does Broly's ring does? It's uh, the one green energy. It's a field spell, uh, and uh, it nullifies the one part of my Broly Leader's ability, which is uh, I discard a card, which means that uh, the other I have this card on the field means uh, I don't lose any hand, and only my opponent loses hand. Yeah, that's that. And since um, the deck is uh, like the MVP of the deck, the Big Kahuna is the Super Saiyan Free Broly, Saiyan Berserker, which is... Uh, uh, he, uh, one of his abilities is that I must only have uh, green cards in my deck, uh, life, uh, drop, and leader area. The, one of his active main abilities, which is why I mainly run him. I choose one Broly's ring, which is on the field. I destroy it. When I play this card, I can choose... Uh, yeah, I can play him for 4 energy, since he's 8. And uh, one of his abilities, when I play him, I can choose a green Broly that's uh, 7 or less, and play him with him. And the main target for this uh, Super Saiyan 3 monstrosity is going to be this Broly, the same Berserker. He's an Evolve Barrier, uh, Evolve for 5 energy, 2 of it which is green, and uh, has uh, one of his abilities is uh, every time he attacks, I mean once per turn, I burst uh, the top 5, which is I mill the top 5 cards of my deck, and um, it depends on the hand size of my opponent. If my opponent has four or more cards, which is broken, I can uh, reveal my opponent's hand and I choose one card and I discard. Uh, his other uh, ability is if my opponent has three or less cards, uh, yeah, he restands and attacks again. The other thing I forgot to mention is he has critical. And uh, yeah, that's critical to have. Another target that sometimes I use, sometimes I don't is uh, Broly, the Rampage is Horror. Uh, the card is evolved for, again, 5 energy, which 4 of it requires to be green and 1 whatever you want. Uh, has a double strike and uh, he's effective when I play this card. Uh, my opponent just discards 2 cards and uh, I just only use this card when uh, my opponent is like at 2 life. Has 2 cards in hand and I pop this guy up and uh, yeah, it's game, game over. You know what, the intro to this video, I wanted to be you sipping the, the call. Okay, I'll, yes. I'll, I'll, I'll do it. Yeah, and another good thing I can play with the Super Saiyan Free Broly is uh, this Super Saiyan Broly. Like rampaging Super Saiyan Broly. Uh, usually, a lot of people don't know that this card exists. Like, uh, the first time I pulled it off against someone, he was like, what, there's a Broly like that? And it's uh, just like... Since, yeah, this card has been forgotten in time, I just slammed the Super Saiyan Free Broly, see that my opponent, like, I uh, I use this card if my opponent loves killing himself, like, uh, taking a life, poking himself, I play this guy, and I just win the game, and, and that's it. And, uh, since this guy and this guy can be played two different ways, uh, the second way is this, by using uh, the draft box, Broly Free at last, which is, uh, I attack with this card. 
<laughs> yeah, the, the placement. I, I, I can't place them well. When I attack with this card, at the end of a battle that it does, I send him to a drop area and I can uh, choose one green Broly that's 6 energy or less. And I play him on the field. I mean, or. No, it's only 6. It's not 6 or less, it's only 6. My mistake. And uh, he's one of my finishers since uh, I attack with him. And I can choose to play this Broly or this Broly. And both of them just destroy my opponent. Another card that's uh, part of the combo is, uh, since this is like my favorite art of the card, like Endless Evolution Bully. I mean, the only one that rivals this card's art. Yeah. Uh, Endless Evolution Bully is, I play him for free, just play him. My opponent chooses one card, KOs it, and uh, lowers the cost of uh, evolution. Which means that I play this guy, if, if somehow, magically, he survives, I can just slam this guy on top of him for free energy, and, and that's it. And uh, yeah, even this works in a different way, and another evolved target for him is uh, the Deathless one. That's uh, the full cost, which I actually, I'm thinking about, I can just remove one of them. His evolution is uh, for free green energy, and since uh, this lower is by two, uh, I just evolve him for one energy on top of the endless evolution. And his effect is, uh, my opponent chooses one battle card, KOs it, but he can choose not to KO it, and uh, discard two cards. In which most cases I just turn four, play this Broly, evolve this Broly on top, and eventually discard two cards from my opponent's hand. I mean, partially this deck is discard, sometimes it's uh, I kill you and other stuff. I just run the two Paragus Super Combo, because why not? Two defensive stance. Uh, why, why these? Because uh, sometimes uh, sparking is, is good, and I just want to have both. This is a card that I actually don't know if I want to run anymore. It's uh, Paragus Calling the Beast. So energy, I drop him, draw one card, his permanent is... Uh, yeah, my Broly leader does not affect my board, which means if I have Broly's ring and my Broly leader on the field, I don't lose anything, it's just... Attack, uh, your opponent KOs something, you draw one card and your opponent discards something. Which, in some cases, it's good, but most people hate that card. Oh yeah, and uh, two more stuff I just don't want to run. Probably I'll remove from the deck and uh, use more counterplay, since uh, this deck, uh, if, it, if, if turn 4 doesn't come like earlier than it's supposed to, I mean, if I survive somehow. Yeah, um, I, I'll need more survivability, because I've seen more aggro decks uh, killing me before turn 4, and that's not good. And this Gohan is just another way of, again, killing my opponent. I just slam him on the field, draw two cards, and uh, the card that's ideally for him is this Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. I have only one, because I have only one. Uh, I evolve him on top of him, and he, again, I attack my opponent when I, the same turn I play him. Can't combo with cards, uh, he's a double strike. What, what else more do you want? And uh, basic negates, shocking death blow, in which... Every green deck has. Like that. Yeah, I'll do it. Yeah, do it for me. I, I suck at that. Yeah, uh, shocking death ball, I negate. I can, if I yeah use the card, I can KO something that's two or less. And uh, sparking five, which is if I have five or more cards in the drop, I get to play by using my life as cost. Another thing. Uh, of course, a Broly deck isn't finished with this guy. Uh, Search his top 7 cards for a green Broly and I enter in hand. Mostly I use him to search all the Broly's, like uh, everyone works. If I get the 7 costs earlier, it's good. If I get the 6 drops, the... sometimes if I have, don't have Super Saiyan 3 Broly. Also, I forgot to add one more thing about Super Saiyan 3 Broly. Uh, one time if I don't actually have Broly's Rink at the beginning of the game in my hand, if I have him in my hand, when I attack with my on the waking side or whatever, when I discard him from my hand, I can choose one Broly's Rink from my deck, activate it, and if I activate the Broly's Rink, I can choose one or two life, place them in the drop area, and I have a Broly's Rink on the field. Which is good, because, uh, yeah, he searches a Broly's Rink, which is essential for the deck. It's like a running tournament of power. Self-Awakeners, because why not? Like uh, the power of Gohan, I attack, 
I get uh, 15k uh, by choosing one of my left hand into my hand. Again, it's critical. What else would you like? From my boy Gohan. I use uh, two of these. Sometimes when I want to like uh, negate early on, not negate but more so like delay the inevitable of uh, aggro decks. I mean, sometimes I just want to place that essential card in the drop area and uh, not getting killed early on. Another good thing is when it's the end game, I just use Hidden Power of the Saints. Hidden Power of the Saints. Yeah, uh, when my opponent plays a card, he can choose. Um, uh, either to discard two cards or to instead place the card that's being played in uh, the drop area. And also, I didn't say what Primitive Strike does, so yeah, my, my mistake. Uh, when my for two energy counterplay, which is when my opponent uh, plays a card, I can respond with this card. But yeah, he if the card being played is four energy or less, he just sends it to the drop area. No wise no deeds. Yeah. And um, yeah, since. Uh, Actually, I can use uh, like the replacement for the Gohans and uh, I mean these three cards and uh, this I can remove one of these. It's Actually, from the deck, I would advise you from what I've played against you on the tournaments I've seen you in. Uh, you don't use the three Gohans, as you said. Yep. So for the three counter plays to help you survive early game. I mean, show uh, them to the camera, man. I will, I will. Yeah, uh, what I can do is uh, remove, and uh, since I don't have focus breakthrough for some unknown reason, it is a uh, negate card play. Uh, if I have like four or less life and my opponent plays a battle card that's three or less, it's instead placed in the drop area. And I can, if I'm, again, at, I think, uh, yeah, four or less, I can choose to place uh, energy costs uh, my life. And the yeah. place of the two Gohans? Actually, I don't, I don't know. I can use Cell's Kamehameha because uh, one extra card in the drop area from the hand is uh, one extra win for me. Yeah, and sometimes when I'm again aggro, my opponent attacks me, I can use it as combo power and at the same time discard a card, which is good. And yeah, I like that. And yeah, that's that's it. Uh, since uh, most of the some of the cards I've uh, revealed, I don't have them. And uh, this deck uh, was made a long time ago. I don't think much about it, like since uh, set 7, yeah. Mm, haven't had in mind to add more cards. I mean, it's good, I've seen sometimes uh, my opponent uh, uh, doesn't know what to do, since when I slam him, I just destroy some combos and uh, I finish with a 6 drop. Sometimes when I want to be a bad person, I use uh, this, this and this, which is my opponent loses more hand and I just put him to death. And yeah, that's it. So basically you Lord Slug him. It's, it's different. It's like... <laughs> I, okay. I, I, I cannot agree with this. So this was probably the legendary Super Saiyan deck. It's nice to see that some old decks are still playable and actually do good in the game. And see you all in the next one with the Blue Boo deck. Yeah, that's